Master Christ, my Lord. Pray with Genesis 3.15, God's Covenant, in your heart. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, He was taken up into the heaven, and He sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed His word by the signs that accompanied it. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 to 20 our remnants are the hidden ones who have been called by God in this era for His work. That's why you shouldn't be afraid or be sad before any problems or failures. Also, you should never be discouraged. It is because God's absolute covenant, Genesis 3.15 Messiah Christ, the God of the Holy Trinity, can solve all problems and is always with our remnants by the Spirit of Christ. In Genesis 3.15, the offspring of woman Jesus Christ, there is tremendous power of God and the wisdom of God. So, do not live according to the crooked thoughts and distorted emotions that Satan likes, but live according to the Word of God. Also, Christ is the amazing light of life that pushes out the darkness in my body. Then, what kind of faith should our remnants have in 2023? the year you have never been to. As Jesus told us today in Mark chapter 16, verse 15 to 20, if we say and shout the name of Jesus Christ, who sits on the right hand of God's throne through death and resurrection, we will walk the path of the spiritual summit and receive monumental answers. So, shall we all proclaim together? Jesus is the Christ. We are the children of God. All problems are gone. Satan, be gone, be filled with the Holy Spirit. World evangelization to the ends of the earth. We will be the witnesses. Great work. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. Genesis 3.15 is the first good news given to Adam and Eve, who were deceived by Satan, and disobey God's word, and it is God's promise. Then why did God give us Genesis 3.15, Jesus Christ? God gave us to solve the curse of Genesis 3 that we cannot solve with our own strength. Originally, human beings were happy spiritual beings created in the image of God, and a bundle of God's blessings to conquer and rule the whole world that God had made. However, the ancient serpent, the great dragon, who resisted God before creation was judged and cast out to this earth. Satan, the devil, finally appeared in Genesis 3. That Satan deceived Adam and Eve with lies. In the end, human beings who lost the beautiful image of God ended up becoming children of the devil trapped in the original sin. So God came to this earth in the human form in order to eliminate the work of the devil that has seized the force of death by borrowing a woman's body, conceived through the Holy Spirit. He is the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the offspring of woman in Genesis 3.15, who crushed Satan's head.
death on the cross, Christ solved all the fundamental problems of Genesis 3. He also said that he rose from the dead and appeared to his disciples. As he breathed out, he said to them, Receive the filling, the filling of, of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. The Spirit of God, the true King who destroyed the works of the devil. The true priest who removed all curses and disasters. With the authority of Christ, the true prophet who opened the way to meet God. If you break the three curses, the original sin moving in your body, the curse that runs through your family, and the self-crime of trying to live as yourself, you will live as a happy child of God, enjoying the of God. <laughs> Even though God is still alive and Jesus Christ has finished all my problems, the curse of filthy unbelief that is trapped in incompetence and refuses to fight the spiritual battle of crushing Satan's head in my body in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to get out from me. I am a child of God who was saved through Jesus Christ. The Spirit of Christ is with me. Do not be afraid or startled. Rise up and shine the light of Christ and become a summit that saves our country and 237 countries around the world in this era. He promised that if we use the authority of Christ, who has the authority of heaven and earth, every day, until the day Jesus returns, He will always be with our remnants until the end of the world. In the Bible, there are wonderful summits who had God's absolute covenant, Genesis 3.15, Jesus Christ, offspring of women in their heart and acted upon. Joseph, whom we know well, was a remnant that always kept Genesis 3.15 in his heart since he was a child within the arms of his father Jacob. He dreamed of God's dreams and acted within prayer. Joseph was hated by his brothers and was sold as a slave to Egypt. Also, being falsely accused, he became a prisoner. In every situation, Joseph only fought the spiritual battle to crush Satan's head in the name of Christ in Genesis 3.15. Then he became the prime minister of Egypt, the powerful nation, and became a successful person who saved Egypt and the whole world. In fact, our remnants who will carry the Genesis 3.15 covenant of God in their hearts and fulfill God's dream of 237 diaspora mission are also people of the covenant, like Joseph. If so, throughout this week, have spiritual discernment to be not deceived by Satan, who makes us live according to the thoughts and emotions of the flesh. Also, open your spiritual eyes that Christ on the heavenly throne is working with you through the Holy Spirit. Enter into prayer with the power of Genesis 3.15 Christ, who crushed Satan's head. And prepare for the greatest specialization God has given you as the blessed spiritual summit that leads this era. Living God, thank you for having me start with prayer in Christ of Genesis 3.15 in my heart, the definite God's covenant that solves all problems. Give me the fullness of the Holy Spirit every day so that I can win the spiritual battle that does not follow the thoughts of the flesh like Joseph did and become the summit of the diaspora mission to save 237 countries around the world. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.